you'll remember for Dar from Dharmasala that I'm very interested in practical, in moving beyond words. And if we want to educate the heart of children, we need to start with us, with you and I, because children learn what they live. It's very nice to tell them things in school, but what they learn are from the examples of the people around them. So we need to start with us. And it doesn't have to be big things. It could be when you leave today, you let another car merge in front of you. Or it could be um, um, just um, saying thank you to somebody in the store who was serving you or the people cleaning your office. There are any number of things you can do, little things you can do, that teach you, help you and help the child. Now, th your holiness is said, if you want others to be happy, show them compassion. If you want yourself to be happy, show others compassion. And there's profound wisdom in that, but you often don't realize it unless you experience it. Because before you experience it, you often think it's a zero-sum game. What I give you, I lose and I have to go do a lot to give to you. And once you do it, and you realize how incredibly happy it makes you, just, just saying hello to a stranger on the street and seeing that person smile at you makes you happy. And so you get so much back from doing that. And um, I have a proposal for the schools of British Columbia that we have a competition, each school at the beginning of the year, for the children to use their creativity to, to think outside the box, to think of ways that they could help other people. They could make the world a better place. It could be at the level of class or grade or school. And then all the relevant people, the children, the, the teachers, the janitors, the people who work in the, in the cafeteria, vote on what they think is the best plan. And then the children do it. They, make, they create the possibility of, of doing this, whether it's helping people across the world or helping in your school. And then at the end of the year, there can be awards for not only the brightest student and the best athlete, but the, ch the student who's ha shown the most kindness, shown the most compassion. And it can come not only from the school, but from the students themselves, where they vote. And I think, I think it can go beyond this, where the province gives uh, awards for this not only to children, but to adults, and not only to the fancy people who are leading the brigade, but to the no-name people who don't have fancy degrees or fancy positions, but in their everyday life are doing things to make the world a better place. And I think my university, the University of British Columbia, could get in the act and offer a scholarship of $1,000 to any student who's won this award from their school. And I'm gonna be quiet to give time.